Hey guys, this is Wendy from Wendy's Eating Show, and um, I feel not centered, but anyways, um, look at, oh, that is so cute, my hair, <laughs> look at that, but anyways, um, yeah, I had my canvas, like, on this side, so I put it right here so you guys can see it, does it look cute, please let me know, and um, I'm gonna be eating some hot Cheetos, Everybody loves hot Cheetos. I mean, I do not know not one person on this beautiful earth that does not like hot Cheetos. So, if you're one of them, let me know. <laughs> so, I can, like, email you, like, email you. What the hell? So, I can send you, like, a few bags of them. But, anyways, these are what hot Cheetos look like. Just in case somebody has not seen them. Because, believe it or not, there's people that do have like do not know what certain things look like and i've learned that on my youtube like a long time ago i'm not sure what i showed and everybody was like wendy everybody knows what's that and then like a few people were like oh thanks wendy for sharing that i did not know that so i'm like mm -hmm. not everybody knows everything okay <laughs> oh my gosh my hair looks crazy but anyways yeah so i'm gonna be eating some hot cheetos and some nacho cheese <laughs> and this is by the brand juanitas and my not my store but it's a store close to my house it it, it is like so expensive but i could only go there <laughs> at the moment so i got this and it was like nearly four dollars for a small can and so anyway let's go ahead and put the hot cheetos in here This thing is like so pretty. How they can get a thumbnail like that? <laughs> but anyway. <clears throat> oh yeah. Oh. So those are all the chips that come in this bag. And just yes, I'm <laughs> I have my um my stand on like a pencil thingy this thing is like so pretty but anyways look at that Ooh, hot cheetos who go ahead and grab go ahead go ahead and grab some let's see if we can like find a funny looking one you always get like these um oh this one's doing the dab oh my gosh he's doing oh my gosh i feel like a millionaire right now he is literally doing the dab Please don't tell me you don't see it because look at that. He is clearly <laughs> doing the dab. Oh my gosh. This is worth a million bucks. Not really, but <laughs> seriously, what? Holy cow. He Look at that from behind. Look, he's doing the dab. Look. Oh my gosh. Look, that little hand. The head. Okay, so that's the head. That's the arm like that. But he's kind of like. You know, oh my god, is it? Oh, I'm shocked. Anyways, we're going to leave him right there because I don't want to eat him. So, let's see if we could find another silly one. That one looks like it's kind of doing the dab as well. Look at that. <laughs> but that's kind of funny. But, oh my gosh, that is crazy. Let's see another one. Let me see if I can find another funny looking one. That is so crazy. What? Let me see. Uh, what does this look like? No, not that one. Oh my gosh. I have to take a picture of that one because nobody's going to believe me. Did I already show this one? What about this? What is this? I don't know. One time, like, oh, it was the best day ever. You know how everybody likes the like taste of the hot Cheeto chili? One time I got like this huge ball, a little bit bigger, a pure chili thing. Like it wasn't a big fat Cheeto, it was just the, the little chili powder. This huge man, I went to heaven and I came back. But, anyways, let's go ahead and pour the nacho cheese on top of this. And ooh. 
Oh my gosh. Hey, Mr. Debbie. Hell yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. Mm. This looks so good and this thing is like dripping. Mm -mm. I don't want it to fall on my table so I'm just going to grab the excess. Mm. I need to keep Mr. Dabby over here because that is so hilarious. <laughs> uh. Mm. You can eat hot Cheetos in um, different all types of ways. But you can especially get like hot Cheetos with cheese with the paletero, like the ice cream trucks. Now, was that my stomach or was that like <laughs> something else? But mm. I usually just eat like hot Cheetos with like chamoy and chili and like have you guys seen my concoction of like the hot cheeto thingy that i made <laughs> oh my gosh so there's like a hilarious story time but My mom was involved, so I kind of want to have her next to me so we can, like, both have, like, we can both share the story. So that might as well go, like, on the Spanish channel. But let me tell you guys, like, and my lips are chapped, like, so bad. Like, do you see, like, the darker spots? Like, those are dry spots that I just want to, like, ugh. <laughs> but I... You guys are going to be like, what? Surprised? Shocked? But I have never stepped foot inside Ikea. <laughs> yeah, believe it, Ikea. Never have I stepped foot in there. And on Black Friday, I told my mom, hey, it was kind of already late, like maybe 6 p.m. I was like, hey, let's go check out the stores. Like, I just want to see, like what's up on this day you know like i was expecting it to like <laughs> how you see on the news like people tripping over fighting um stuff on the floor everybody running in different places places like the store so packed like you can't even walk but it was kind of chill so mm, we left the we went to a mall first but then we went like we were driving around and we went to Costco, of course, and then we went to Ikea because it was, like, across the street. So, we went there, and first of all, we saw, like, a kid's area, like, they babysit or something. I was like, what? They babysit your kids? That is... First of all, that was, like... I was, like, in an awe moment, like, what? What? And I didn't really pay attention, but there was, like, um, like, stairs. And we automatically, like, went to, like, the right side. We are like, what is this? Like, it was, like, you, it said big entrance. And so we walked in, and there was, like, a stairs. And I was like, what is this? Like, I've never had, like, you go inside a store, and then you, the first thing you see is, like, a stair. So, I honestly thought like that's for like the employees or something not for us so we went like on the right side and then there was like a lot of people coming out with their carts and they had like blocked the the aisles from the registers and it said no entry and i was like what is this so like where do we go inside of the store and oh my gosh you guys it was so embarrassing i was like we got to ask somebody, like, where's the entrance? And so we asked, like, two persons. And they're like, you have to go that way. So we're like, we have to go. So we have to walk back from where we enter. That's where we just came. And so we were, like, halfway back again to where we entered. And we asked another person. We're like, where's the entrance to the store? And they're like, you're almost there, like, on the stairs. We're like, on the stairs? And 
Oh my gosh. <laughs> so I looked at my mom. I was like, do we have to go like up these stairs to go inside Ikea? Um, people were just like staring at us because we look so confused. <laughs> that was so embarrassing. <laughs> but we went up the stairs and... And... I couldn't believe everything was so pretty like now I see why a lot of youtubers <clears throat> don't come out of that store and everybody remodels their house with like Ikea stuff now I see why <laughs> and I just the first thing we saw like going up the stairs were like um little um drawings that little kids had drawn and the store actually made like a stuff animal out of it and that was like so cute i've never seen a store do that and right there i was like oh my gosh i'm in love with the store <laughs> and they had like little arrows on the floor but i was so confused what was that for <laughs> but i didn't really pay attention to them we were just walking and so we were they're already kind of late like by the time they were closing and like and a worker there was like we asked for something he was like oh um it's on that aisle but we're already closing so we have to walk this way and that's all he said but <laughs> we were like we were like so where's the exit and he was like just follow the arrows and you guys i'm not kidding you guys like we went through like the whole we walked through the whole store to get out from the whole ikea like there wasn't like any shortcuts to take we you had to walk the whole store to get out and that's like a good technique you know like before you leave you have to walk through our whole store so i was like mm, ikea i see what you're doing there <laughs> i see what you're doing and it was a whole new experience because like all the furniture when i got there i was like damn they have like a lot of computers because we got to like the i think the office where they have like desks and chairs and literally almost every table had computers i was like damn like what do they need so many computers like is that is there like that many workers here like on computers but then like as soon as i like started to realize like started looking around like the beddings the closet thingies had clothing the stoves had pots everything it looked like a real house excuse me like a real person's oh my gosh would look like in a house like and i was like oh wait these are just displays so you can like have like a visual um Visualis visual visualization of how would if you pick this like how could you organize it or how it would look and then there and then I was like oh so it was my first time being like IKEA and I realized so much from IKEA that they want your money <laughs> like that's what I saw like first like that was like my whole experience with IKEA like they want your bucks. <laughs> uh, Also, with the the kids center, like, they take care of your kids so you can let that money <laughs> at the store, like, so you can buy more things. Like, I'm pretty sure that's Ikea's dark um, side. <laughs> um, no shade, Ikea. I'm just... I'm just noticing, noticing like your hustle, <laughs> but like, you know, you gotta do what you gotta do to get more money. <laughs> but yeah, so it was time to close, and like the workers were, they were not rude at all. Like, hey, you gotta go. Like, it's closing time. They were just like walking behind us, like you know, to kind of pressure us. But they were not rude at all because. If you go to other stores, they will literally kick you out. <laughs> hey, we're close now. You gotta, like, go, you know? 
trust me there is like you gotta leave now <laughs> people other stores like that but ikea like the workers they were just like walking behind us kind of like slowly pushing us outside and i mean to the exit but we had to literally walk through the whole every um little section like baby section uh, office section um electronics you know all that stuff and so on our way out we saw a lot of things that we just couldn't like we knew we had to leave because they were already um closing so we're definitely gonna go back with like <laughs> but this time we're gonna go even earlier but are all ikea like that <laughs> like to exit you gotta walk through the whole ikea thingy I remember we also had to walk down the stairs and they also had like a big rug on on the wall and just like he'll be like oh you might want to buy this rug you know <laughs> before you leave <laughs> or like they even had chairs like hey check out like these chairs and I'm like they're not even where we're leaving walking down the stairs like the wall like they have like um merchandise like <laughs> like hey check this out before you walk out <laughs> But, I don't know. I did see a lot of cute things, but I couldn't walk over. Because we were, like, being pushed. Not, like, pressured to leave, you know? Um. <laughs> and then there's so, like, right when you um paid for your items, like, right, like, in the exit they had like a food court but, hey before you leave take some of those, these meatballs <laughs> and don't forget to take your kid he's like on um, you have to walk like that big aisle over there <laughs> mm. but i'm still shocked that a store would take care of your kids to <laughs> So you can shop. Would you guys ever leave your kids? I would not. <laughs> would you trust another stranger to take care of your kid? I don't know. Mm. When I got home, I was like, how do you shop at Ikea? Like, <clears throat> I was Googling all these questions. Like, how is Ikea from the inside? Like, is, is like, all the stores like that? Like, I thought it was just going to be, like, a normal store. Like, you walk in, like, a like a Target or something like that. But, no, like, as soon as you walk in, there's, like, bam, these huge stairs to go, like, to the third floor. And I was like, holy cow. But I want to know if all Ikeas are like that. Mm-mm-mm. <laughs> and the funniest thing was, like, outside, like, a lot of people, oh, a lot of people drive small cars. And there was, like, these blue boxes with, like, string. And it had a picture of, like, a small car and, like, <laughs> some stuff on the top. And you could, like, pull it all together so you could take it home. And I was like, oh my god, that is, I told my mom, that is so crazy. Like, who would do that? You know, like, who would put stuff on top of their car and tie it down so you could take it? And not kidding you, like, <laughs> as soon as we got inside of our car, there was, like, this small car with, like, a whole bunch of things on top of their car. And we were, oh my gosh, we were cracking up so hard. Out. My mom was like, Wendy, look, look. I was like, oh my gosh, they do do that. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know I guess that's nice of Ikea because it would suck like if you bought something 
time you had to return the stuff to Ikea, Ikea would be like, uh-uh-uh, oh, I got some string for you so you can tie it on top of your car. <laughs> I don't know. Whoever wants Ikea, let me just tell you, you guys are really smart, eh? <laughs> but, anyways. I'm still going to tell that story in Spanish because my mom, I think my mom has a lot to add to it. <laughs> If you guys want to subscribe to our Spanish channel, it is um, En Familia con Wendy. So, huh? Let me go to comment of the day, and this one goes to mm, Glam Dolly Twenty. Says, "Hey, gorgeous girl, your Thanksgiving dinner looks delish, and you made that chocolate cake yourself." Wow, yes, I did. <laughs> um, I am in awe. I am thankful for Wendy's eating show and all the lovely entertainment you give us. Happy Thanksgiving, Wendy. Good, keep up the good work. And you guys have been asking me to show you guys how I do that chocolate cake, and I'm in awe too. Oh my gosh, excuse me. It has been like the best chocolate I've ever tasted. Like, I think I beat everybody around here. <laughs> but, I am going to show you guys, okay? So, that was comment of the day. And if you want to be comment of the day, all you have to do is comment down below. And you could be next. So, don't forget to subscribe to Wendy's Eating Show. Go ahead and subscribe to my Spanish show, and Familia con Wendy, if you want to. And, I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye! Bye.